Hey, hey, good morning, good morning. Got my favorite sweatshirt on, about to hit the gym. Um, today I'm talking about excuses that we give ourselves. We give ourselves excuses for not doing something that we're pulled to, right? I mean, like you're watching my video now because you are pulled to, you know, probably the car business. You want to get in the car business. Maybe you're already in the car business. Um, but a large portion of you, maybe 85, 90% of you watching this video are contemplating. You're thinking about it. You're not sure. You know, you're, you're, you you want to get in, right? That's, that's probably 90% of you watching this video right now. 90% of you. Within that 90% of you, a huge chunk of you are thinking of the excuse of it's too expensive or I don't have the money, All right? It being too expensive is just a valuation you put upon it, All right? $1,300, $1,400, that's not a lot of money. It's You say it's a lot of money, so it becomes a lot of money. If you say it's too much money for you to put together, then it becomes too much money for you to put together. You see, if you sell, if you give us, and so this video today is about excuses that we feed ourselves. You know, your mind, your spirit only knows yes. It only knows yes. So what you speak out your mouth, what you're thinking continuously about an idea or a business, this car business, oh, it's four ten dollars. Oh, I can't do that. I can't make that. You, that's that's yes, and your spirit will make sure that that money stays out of your reach because you've said it's too expensive and you've said that you can't raise that money. <laughs> Yet still in all, we raise the money and we buy the things that's important to us. You know, uh, everyone watching this video has a phone of some kind. Everyone watching this video is spending $100 or more on internet connection every month. Uh, some of you, you know, smoke cigarettes or drink or do other kinds of things that's entertaining, you know, so you spend money, you buy clothes, cars, whatever, you know, so we spend money on the things that's important to us. We make excuses, right? We make excuses for things sometimes, right? And so I want to just take away the excuse of, oh, uh, it's too much money. No, it's not. If you want to do it, you will decide to do it and you will get the money. If you tell yourself you can't, then you won't. The car market is soft. I can't make money in the car market. Everyone's doing it. It's too competitive. No. If you believe it, if you believe that and say it, then it will be so. Because guess what? There's many places in this country where you can go. There's a McDonald's right there, and it's a McDonald's right across the street, or a Wendy's, or whatever, a competing, quote-unquote, competitor. They're both making money, all right? There's enough for everyone. There's always enough for everyone. So if you're fearful that there's not enough for you, then that's what you'll see. That's what you'll see all around you. It's not enough. That's your belief. You speak it out of your mouth. You say it. I don't have enough money to get this, this auction access. And so you won't. You won't. I don't have, whenever you say I don't have or I cannot get, then that's a yes. And that thing will always stay out of your reach. Right? You know, I talk a lot about mindset. Of course, you know that if you've been following my videos for some time. So this mindset thing is very, very key. Don't feed yourself excuses for anything that you would like to succeed at. Only feed yourself reasons on why you can succeed at something. So if you're pulled to the car business, you wanna buy and sell cars, you've been doing it, you wanna to go to the next level, get a sheet of paper and write down the reasons why you can succeed in the car business. You know, you're good at figures, you know car, uh, yeah, write it down. Yeah, you're confident that you could speak, you got social, Write down the reasons why you can succeed and go over that list. And you go over that list every day, you become more and more confident. And when you become confident and excited about something, things open up. If it's been a money issue for you, the money will come together. Because you're not, once you decide it and you made a list of reasons why you're going to succeed at it, then now there's a shift in your mindset. 
It's all about mindset. You can pray to God. You can do all those things. That's great. But it comes down to your mindset. Can you decide to do something? Can you be excited about it? Once you can do that, then everything else lines up for you. So this is something similar to I did a video I did the other day uh, about mindset. But again, this is specifically about... Oh, the other video was about removing painful business experiences. You know, you got to learn from painful business experiences and then remove the pain from it. So you have the, the, the experience that you've learned. It costs you some money, but you've learned something that you can now take that and apply. Well, today I'm talking about removing the excuses that we use to do or not do something. Specifically, not do this. All right. Take away the excuses. And write down the reasons why you can succeed. It's Gerard Fairley. Let's make money.